The overall goal of the following experiment is to map the flow of blood in the embryonic kidney. First, an embryo is extracted from the uterus and prepared from an ultrasound-guided intracardiac injection. The embryo is then injected with fitzy label tomato lectin using ultrasound-guided micro-injection. Once all the embryos are injected, the dam is sacrificed and the embryos are processed as whole mounts or sectioned for immunohistochemistry and evaluation of blood flow. The results show a dynamic pattern of blood flow throughout the developing kidney, suggesting a role for blood flow in the maturation of the various kidney compartments. So the main advantage of this technique over other techniques such as resin casts is the fact that you can actually visualise blood flow throughout embryonic development. So demonstrating the technique will be Christopher Reimer, a technician from my laboratory. Begin with setting up the stage, mount and probe. Next, set up the instruments and begin warming up a stock of pH 7.4 PBS to 37 degrees Celsius in a water bath. Now, load the microinjection needle. Using a flexible 25 gauge needle, load it through the base with mineral oil. Then, attach the needle to the arm mount. Subsequently, Empty out the mineral oil and refill the needle with 2.5